name's Marina. Hey everyone, I'm Jerry. Hi, I'm Jesse, and we are the Naturalist, part of the San Francisco Unified School District's Environmental Science Center out at Fort Funston. Welcome back to Golden Gate Park. Today's episode will be about a plant you may have heard of as tule reed or tule reed. Tule reed grows in shallow water of wetlands, muddy shores, and lakes. It is native to, native means originally from, the California coast and most of the western United States up to parts of Oregon. A lot of wetland animals use this plant for shelter. Herons, egrets, ducks, songbirds, and small mammals like raccoons and muskrats use this plant as a bite to eat and materials for nesting. Neat! You can see almost all of these animals here at Golden Gate Park, too. You can spot tule reed by its long stem, usually growing in water. They usually grow in bunches and can grow up to eight feet tall. Their stems are hollow, like really long straws. Any plant that has the word reed in it means that it has a straw-like stem that is hollow. Native people of California use tule reed in their everyday life. Some examples include basket weaving and boat building. Tule reed boats can hold hundreds of pounds. This means that boats made from this plant can support the weight of a couple people at a time. Tule reed is even used to make some houses. Hey Jay, do you know what time it is? Perfect! Have you ever been to Golden Gate Park? Have you visited the bison? Bison are large mammals that look very similar to buffalo. Most of them are found in Yellowstone National Park. They were brought to Golden Gate Park in 1890 to help preserve the species as they were on the brink of extinction. Extinction means no members of a species are left alive on our planet. You can observe and learn more about this majestic animal in the park near Chain of Lakes. What is tule reed used for? Is it A, baskets, B, boats, C, houses, or D, all of these? The answer is D. Tule reed is used to make all of these things, baskets, boats, and even some houses. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Join us next time on Neighborhood Nature.